This entire news report, the presenter, the street interview, the Lagos background was created completely with AI. Joseph Aloba, the father of late singer Morbad, has spoken following the conclusion of the coroner's inquest into his son's death. Do you believe justice has been served for Morbad? No, I don't think so. There are still too many unanswered questions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create realistic news videos and street interviews using VO3, an advanced AI generation tool that turns simple text prompt into real looking realistic video scenes. If you have ever dreamed of starting your own AI news channel or creating viral interview style content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and even monetizing it, then this could be the opportunity you have been waiting for. If you have any questions, can you drop them in the comment section? Do well to like this video to keep supporting the channel. My name is Delapo and let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need is a news script. And there are two ways to go about it. Is either you go online and check for trending news or you create your own news. You could create news on traffic updates, on weather updates, or just what is going on around you. you go to Google and type trending news today. And you will see a lot of trending news, all right? So you just click on any of them and, you know, copy the script and edit to your home. Make sure that you avoid copyright issues. But for me, I'm going to work on uh, Mobat News. Let's just do a video, a news video on what is trending concerning Mobat today. And I'm going for this particular one. Why I buried Mobat a day after his death, his father. So what I'll just do is I'll come here, I'll come over here and copy the script that we have here already. I'll copy the script and then head over to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to rewrite the story. Can you see? I just copied this part of the script for the purpose of this video and I'll just ask ChatGPT to rewrite this script, rewrite this script to look like mine. Mine so as to avoid copyright. We write this script to look like my source to avoid copyright issues. And then I send. ChatGPT has rewritten the script for me. So all I did was to copy the script. I copied the script and I just head over to Google Docs and I pasted the script. So now what we'll just do is this. I'm going to create a prompt to make the presenter in my news. I'm making a news, chat, I'm making a news video, as you know. It's going to be in this form. The presenter will read the script and along the line will interview one or two persons on the streets, you know, asking questions about this particular event. So what I will just do is I'll head over to Google VO3. Let's go to Google and type VO3 and choose this particular one. In my previous video, I show how to access Google VO3, how to link your card, how to access it for free for the first 30 days. All right, so just watch that video. I'll put the link in the description box or anywhere around here. Now, I won't be going too much into that. So all you just need to do is to click on Try and Flow, then click on Create with Flow. If you're accessing it for the first time, you'll be asked to link your card, all right? And you'll be given 1,000 free credits for, it's free for 30 days. You can cancel the subscription before the 30 days elapse, or you can go ahead and, you know, renew the subscription by paying a sum of 25,000 Naira plus. Let's have 390 credits as at the time of filming this tutorial. And so what we'll just do is uh, go ahead and click on create new project. And where we have text to video, I'll have it as text to video. And then I come to this side. I'll make sure it's on video three. This is how to put my prompt. I make sure it's on one so that it doesn't burn out my credit fast. All right. So as it says here, each generation uses 20 credits based on your current setup. So I'll just go with that. And then I paste my prompt right here. This is the prompt I'll be using for the first scene. And this is what I got from ChatGPT. A confident female news presenter standing on a busy street in Lagos, Nigeria, during the daytime. She is dressed in a colorful Ankara top with simple black trousers, holding a microphone, and speaking directly to the camera. She begins a report by saying, you know, this is the script that the presenter will be saying. I just copied this part of the script. This is for the first scene. The background shows typical Lagos street scenery, yellow downfoot buses, street vendor, light traffic, and high-rise buildings. You need to state how you want your scene to look like. And that is why 
we have this. All right. The presenter speaks. The presenter speaks with calm authority. The atmosphere is realistic with natural city sounds and slight camera movement, as if recorded by a, a handheld news crew. So this is my own prompt. You can screenshot this and model it, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and send. I'll just click on this one, this arrow here, and send. You need to wait for a few seconds for the video to be generated. Our video is now generated and see what the result looks like. Let me show Joseph you. Joseph Aloba, the father of late singer Morbad, has spoken. Now, this is going to be the first scene. The next scene is going to be a presenter interview one person asking questions about this mobile event. Now, I'm going to copy the next prompt to generate the next scene. The first scene is about eight seconds. Google VO3 will not give you more than. 8 seconds, 10 seconds at a go. So if you are creating a full video, you may need to make multiple scenes, all right? So this is the first scene, and this is the prompt I have here, which I'm going to be using to generate um, the second scene. A realistic scene featuring a female news presenter wearing a colorful Ankara top, now holding a microphone and interviewing a male passerby on a busy street in Lagos, Nigeria. Go ahead and pause this video and screenshot this so you can, you know, have this prompt. The scene is shot during the day with realistic city sounds. You know, I just described how we want the background, the scene to look like. And the, presenters asks, the presenter asks the man, do you believe justice has been served to Mobad? The man, looking concerned, shakes his head slightly and replies, no, I don't think so. So there are too many, you know, how this, there are many parts of the prompt. Now I'm going to click on this and send. I'll need to wait for a few seconds for this to be generated. Okay, so this is what we got. And um, there is an error, which I would like to correct. And let me just play the video so you can see. Do you believe justice has been served for Mohabad? No, I don't think so. There are still too many unanswered questions. We just want the truth. As you can see, the script was well said. The um, text we wanted our video characters to say were well said. But the, the issue I have with this video is because of the air style of the lady. It's totally different from what we have in the first video. So we need to edit our prompt, all right? Now, I'm going to paste the same prompt. And I just made few edits. A realistic scene featuring a female news presenter with braided hair still wearing... Let me just remove this still because... Okay, so wearing a colorful Ankara top, interviewing a male passerby on the busy street. So, and that's that. So now let's try if this is going to give us a better one. As you can see, this one looks so good, better than the other one. Now, if you take a look at the dress, the top, the Ankara top, and what we have here, they almost look alike. So we'll just take it like that. The type of hairdo she has, the presenter has in the first video looks like what we have in this one so i'll go with this now let's play the video let's see if they really said what we wanted it to say do you believe justice has been served for mobile no i don't think so there are still too many unanswered questions i will download the videos before you download make sure you upscale you click on this the arrow to download it will ask if you want it in the original size or you want it upscaled so for YouTube size of video or type of content, you need to put it at upscale 1080p so that you can also have the best quality. Now I'm going to click on that and it will take a few minutes for this to be done. It doesn't cost any credit to upscale. I'll do the same for the second one. And after that is done, I'll go ahead, download the videos and save on my device. After, after downloading the scenes, the next thing is for us to, you know, Put them together, use any video editing tool like CapCut, import the scenes, drag them to the timeline, and then you know, you can make some edits, maybe add auto captions. Now, you can add auto captions like I did here, add auto captions, you know, edit your video the way you want it. So, if you're creating a full video, you need to add multiple scenes. Google VO3 will not give you more than eight seconds maximum at a go. Create different scenes and put them together with a video editing tool like this. 
add your channel name, add whatever you want to add, export your video, then create a new channel. Export your video right here, then create a new channel. Go to YouTube, create a new channel. If you want to use TikTok or any other social media platform, create a new channel and start posting this type of videos. Reach the monetization threshold for this um, social media platforms and you know you can get monetized. That's it. Now, you have seen how to create this type of videos with just prompt and video 3. But I know starting on your own can feel overwhelming, especially if you want to get it right from day one. That is why I am offering a one-on-one -on -one mentorship to personally guide you. I will show you how to write effective prompts that gives you realistic, high-quality videos, how to choose and grow your niche, whether it is AI-powered news, reporting or storytelling through African folk tales, and how to start, structure, and monetize your own content without stress. If you're interested, just click on the link in the description box below this video to sign up. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment below, and be free to drop your questions in the comment section. I hope to see you all in my next video.